Hello everybody, this is Charles 1K92 here, also known as GM65 on PlayStation's network. So, as you could probably have guessed on the title of this video, we're doing Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. Um, yeah, we're doing a Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, let's go along with that. So, I have downloaded and purchased the 1.5 and 2.5 HD Collection Remix. This comprises of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Rechain Memories, Kingdom Hearts 358 by 2 Days, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, and then finally Recoded. So to put it into perspective, we get 1, 2, 4 games that we can play and 2 games that we don't play but we watch. Now. Reason being that I'm doing this Let's Play is because of this year of 2018, we finally get the sequel of Kingdom Hearts 3. So, yeah, we're kind of going to go on down that route. And at some point, apparently, from what I've gleamed over some information, we're going to get something during the D23 that's happening in February. Hopefully it's a new trailer, which it will be. Maybe we get a release date. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to go say yep Kingdom Hearts so we're going to start the games in order so we're going to go from Kingdom Hearts 1 to Chain of Memories followed on by 358 by 2 days then Kingdom Hearts 2 and then so on Birth by Sleep is going to be sort of difficult because it's basically you play as three separate characters and one does one thing at one point one does another thing at another point and one does another thing at another point so it's a bit touch and go Okay, so this is Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, something which uh, I think needs to be kind of addressed. So this game originally came out, I believe, in the early 2000s, and it was only known as Kingdom Hearts. There was no Final Mix variant or anything else like that. But I hear you say to me in the background, well, why does it make it a Final Mix? What's the difference between the original game and a Final Mix variant? Think of a final mix as like DLC if you could, but this was during the days before the concept of downloadable content was available. So the boffins in Japan done this where they released the game um, at certain points only in Japan. So they only allowed the final mix version in Japan on its own. Until we got the um, a certain edition of the game in the HD collections which came out on PS3 and then eventually now here on PS4 but in any case so with the final mix one as I said it's basically you got downloadable content which is well it's not downloadable content it's just better content for the stuff you get new uh, there's new abilities that get added in uh, new forms of combat and basically that is the basic this is the first time that they went back to the game and thought you know what, what could we make it better on that sort of stuff new weapons as well nothing really changes for the game except that however in its sequel which is Kingdom Hearts 2 the true sequel of the game they really overhauled and stuff so we got three different levels of um, of gameplay so you got final mix beginner so you play begin with uh, you, so you begin with all the rare items in easy mode so you get every all the rare stuff then you get final mix which is basically it's balanced as it says for first timers <laughs> and then finally you have the proud mode so basically think of proud mode as a hard mode and you get a, you encounter tough er enemies for a thrilling battle so we're going to select that uh, let's see sled camera settings automatically rotate camera in the field or we'll manually do it by using the right stick or we'll do it manual uh, we will have the vibrations and this is the this is like the final thing. So this because it's a new game. They say, are you sure you want this kinds of settings? You say yes. Game starts up. <clears throat> oh yeah, and a one more final thing before I even probably even get into trouble. I actually don't own any rights to the game. I basically am just doing what everyone else is doing at this moment which is just making the gameplay recordings of it and just getting it out there for my well not for me I'm guessing I'm just making content that's the best way I could put it I've been having these weird thoughts lately hmm
Like, is any of this for real? Or not? Okay, so we're finally doing the game. Right, I chose to keep my mouth shut at this point. So much to do. So little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. The door is still shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? Now... I want this to be made a little bit clear here. If there is anybody who does actually follow the story and probably come to some form of understanding, I've had a theory on this from a while back, of wondering the voice in question of the text that we see in the beginning of this scene. And I kind of know who it is, but I'll leave it up to the individuals who probably do watch this video to think about it for themselves. But I doubt, thing, I doubt that Square Enix could actually think on... Um, that far ahead. So yeah, so this is our main protagonist, name unknown. So cool. So we learn how to move forward. Great. Shield. How sleeps within you? If you give it its form, it will give you strength. Choose well. Okay, so basically you've got three different trees that you can choose. Okay, so circle is the jump, so not circle. Right, so we have three different paths that we can essentially choose for our adventure. So it's kind of fairly simple. A sword is somebody who's going to be more focused on attacking. A shield is going to be someone who's going to be focusing on defense. And finally, we have a staff, which you can only imagine what the staff is used for for magic. Now, generally, I'm going to guess a majority of people actually go for the sword, because, you know, why not? Because it's a sword, so we'll pick up the sword. The power of the warrior. Invincible courage, a sword of terrible destruction. Is this the power that you seek? Yes. Okay, so your path is set. Now, what will you give up in exchange? So this is where you have to make a decision, because what happens is, you can technically take two paths down. So you can choose to take the path of the warrior, which will be more dominant. 
and that would be that. Or you could take in the staff where you take someone who's more of a mage, or you take somebody who's a defender with the shield. Now, if you choose one path, you have to sacrifice another, but when you think about what's left over, it's basically whatever was left over is your second uh, skill that you build up, as far as my knowledge and awareness goes, and then the third one that you've chosen to discard is basically left to kind of gather dust, but you still build on top of that, but it's like third place. So we're going to get rid of the shield, because why not? Okay, the power of the guardian, sorry. Kindness to aid friends, a shield to repel all. <laughs> so it's like, of course I want to get rid of this power. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you've chosen the power of the warrior. You've given up the power of the guardian. Is this the form you choose? Yes. So once you choose your path, eventually the pillars will fall, and the sort of windowless glass will cause the shadow to defeat, and the main protagonist will fall down to another uh, dark hole. Black hole. Okay, so it's just been added on. Cool. Right. Okay, you gain the power to fight. Nice. Alright, press X to attack. Okay. Alright, we've got it. Oh, use his power to protect yourself and others. Okay, so then we now given our uh, HP and our MP. So our health point, well, our hit points or health points. And then you've got MP as well, which is basically your magic. So it's something which we don't know how to use yet. Okay, there will be times you have to fight. Keep your light burning strong. Alright, so these are our bad guys. Cool, we killed one. Alright, so we gained a little bit of an experience. EXP. Okay, with enough, we'll be able to gain level. So, furthermore, enemies will drop different items behind. So these items are health items, which we can pick up. So if they're green orbs, we can pick them. If they're another kind of orb, I think it's magic. And if it's something else, it can be money or treasure. Okay, generally you'll automatically target the, the, uh, the nearest enemy. But you can still lock onto people, so lock on. So yeah, we can move, we can change our enemies. There we go. So we've just learned how to fight, we've learned how to defeat our enemies, but now it looks like we're leaving this stage for another stage, while we're being swallowed by darkness. seems to be very pink. Right. So, we've got a see-through door. We can examine stuff. Now, in the original PlayStation 2 version, we couldn't press triangle. It's basically X. So, in order for us to interact with the world, we had to hold X all the time to check stuff. So, we saw uh, a sort of our protagonist that has realised we can't do anything yet. Looks like a chest has appeared. Let's go to the chest. Okay. Okay, you can push the large crates. So. Okay, you can also smash them. Sometimes destroying objects yield items. We gained a potion. Okay, we can lock on, L2 is to change, we can lift, okay that's it, that's the door done, looks like the box disappeared, we're going to examine again,
Okay. Hold on, the door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Alright, so... Press the touchpad button for first person view. You can use the left analog stick to look around. Alright, so... In the past, this used to be the... I think... If I remember correctly, this used to be under the select option on the old PlayStation 2 um, controller and PS3. But here is touchpad for the PS4. So we've got three people that we can talk to. And actually, these guys are from Final Fantasy X, I think. But they're in kid form. So, yeah. So if we talk to the girl first. Alright, so what's more important to you? Being number one, friendship, or my prized possession? Um... We can change this whenever we want, but here's the thing though, the way how this works is the gaining of experience, so how do I put this, so if I, I can't actually remember exactly how it would go, but if I would hazard to guess the most number one one, like being number one, probably yields more XP, I think, I'm not too sure because it depends on how you grind. Um, Because it's basically the strategy guide for this, and if you do it wrong, you won't yield enough, um... But basically, each platform is something, um... So the platforms that we've done have got their own certain thing. So I think, alright, oh, okay, so here's how it would go. So with all three of them, if I chose to go with one all the time, then um, it's a fast-paced kind of thing. So if I give all the answers for stuff, it'll be a fast-paced, speedy start, but it slows down after a while. So constantly it's quite quick. So if I said, oh, being number one, uh, to see rare sites, and then finally getting old is with one of the others. If you do it in such a way where it's one 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 and then one one two one one three or one two one or two one one or three one one, normal pace is one two three or one three two, depending on how you go with the answers. If you really want to have the slow pace, so like if you answer, answer, so answer all three as number three as an example. Answer will make your leveling up process start slow, but then speed up on later. So you can choose to have slow start, but then goes higher at the end, or fast start but slow at the end or you go from the middle ground it just stays consistent so yeah um, yeah pretty much so I'm more or less inclined to go with saying being I don't know it just depends on your own personality I guess um, it's the most balanced option if I go number two to French uh, no, I'm not going to do friendship. I would say being number one would probably be one of my more, most important things, but then again, my prized possession. So even if I did go three, so are possessions such a big deal? Pretty much, you dumb bitch. Okay, what do you want to see? Well, I want to be able to see the rare sights, if you ask me. And then finally, so what am I afraid of? Being different, being indecisive, you know what, getting old, fuck getting old. Yep, okay, so you like to collect neat things, you want to see rare sights, and you're afraid of getting old. Pretty much. Aren't we all afraid of getting old? Alright, your adventure begins at dawn. As long as the sun is shining, your journey should be a pleasant one. So this changes every time if you answer different ones in a certain way. Alright, the day will the day you o the day you will open the door is both far off and very near. I butchered that, didn't I? <laughs> right. Okay. So we still have an item. We can still uh, run around. Alright, press options to open up your menu screen. Oh, not yet. That's a pause. Yep. 
However, we can skip cutscenes, but this time we're not going to. We're actually going to... Okay, so this is a save option. So these are our save points. So, press triangle to save. Or we can. Save file, saving. Wow, it's taken us 16 minutes. Right. We're going to see where this staircase leads us. As you get to light, the greater your shadow becomes. Ooh. Big fucker. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. But don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. What is it? What is my mightiest weapon? So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door.
Really? Is that all I'm going to do? Is open up some kind of door? It's very, um... Strange. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. So are you lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. No, this huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't... Ow. Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Hmm. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Ah. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you know this. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> and that is the opening to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Brought to you all by Square Enix and Disney. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> and the world is Destiny Island. Okay, so, we're on the island. Pretty cool. So there are many things that we can do here while we wait. Well, not wait, but we have to interact with shit, so... Oh, foul language on this game. It's a big no-no. Alright, so we can gather up the rest of the supplies. So, Sora, are you listening? Okay, what was that again? Jeez. We can't build a raft without the materials, right? So this is what we need. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. Help, just ask. No more slacking. Alright. So basically, we just have to go around. Vlog! The ladder. I forgot how the cameras were like back then. Cloth! We got a cloth! Alright, you know what? Uh, what was it? What was it? Where was. So we can actually fight people here. So if we choose to fight. Ah, the her... breeze feels great! Alright, so. First shot. Just kidding. Right. Hey, what's happening, man? Not up, man. You're not black enough. <laughs> no, no, can't go down that way. 
I was like in trouble. Okay, hey, what's up? So I think it's that she's in charge around here. It's a drag. Sure. Okay. Show me your stuff. All right, this guy likes to throw a ball around. Ow. See what I mean? Wow. I got defeated. He's a pain. Trust me, he is. But I'll kill him. Show me your stuff. Ouch. Nope. <laughs> Cheeky little bastard. Alright, best two out of three. Show me your stuff. Ow. Ow. You're not good, you're terrible. Oh. I win. You know what? Give me a minute here. I'm level three and I'm dying. No. Forty nine. Oh no, wait a minute. Two. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you think it's going to be easy this time, buddy? I don't think so. Ow! Strength up. We could just do that. Farm it. Oh, you got me. I win. Well, we leveled up. Show Getting off the grind. Gotcha. We got you back. Oh, man. That really hurt. Yeah, that's what you deserve, you little bitch. Twenty-three to next level. Well, let's go and see the guy who is actually learning to fight here. Oh look, there's a rope. Hey, Sora, you feel lucky today? Sure, Tidus. I'm always feeling lucky. Alright. You're going down. I refuse to use any potions. Oh man, I'm really off today. We can actually farm off Tidus because he's actually uh, a little bit more stronger. You three against me, 
Yeah, so if you beat all three of them, you can face three of them together. But we're actually going to go one on one still with him until we get maybe level 10. Tech points are always good. We'll go against you this one more time. And then we'll go and meet Riku. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh, yes, you got that. The little sh The little piss ant thinks he's good. You're going down. You lost to me twice and you beat me once. There's a difference. Ha! Come on, you. Defense up. Oh, man. I'm really off today. Yeah, so you should be. You're a disgrace. I kid, he's not a disgrace. Alright, so at level 5, uh, defense is now 5, strength is now 9. Fell off. All right. All right. I think that's everything. Now, Riku is very. Um, it, he's stronger than Sora. Let's put it like that. All right. This one decides the champion. Oh, I bet it does. Ready or not. <laughs> Oh, God. What are you afraid of? Talk is cheap. Come on. Come on. Oh. Don't tell me you're giving up already. Ah, oh. uh, you got me. Oh, I'm ready. does that. I always keep falling for it though. Don't worry, we'll we'll get him. Ow.
don't tell me you're giving up already. I don't want to use my potion, man. What? Ah, he's a little... You know what? We're not done you here, Riku. I'm going to keep on practicing until I beat you. Alright. Show me your stuff! Did, didn't it? Oh, this rate, we're never going to get anywhere, are we? Show me your stuff. Riku is, I think, compared to Sora at this stage, maybe five levels ahead. One on one is better. I mean, I would go one on three, but I know I wouldn't play. Bomb Tidus. Bomb him. Jesus! Die! Oh, bitch. Oh, man. I'm really off today. I think maybe if I get to level 10, I will kill all three. Just at this stage, it's better to farm Tidus because Tidus is down. two points. So, farm Tidus. <laughs> Status. Twelve more. You're going down. <coughs> Ow. Ten more. One more, and then we'll go attack uh, Waka, I think his name is. You're going down! Oh, we learned Sliding Dash. Oh man, I'm really off today. So yeah, if we learn an ability, so what is sliding dash? Rush and strike at an enemy at a distance. Equipped. There we go. 
So if we talk to him now. You're going down. See what I did? You might turn around and say, well, that might be able to defeat Riku. But no, no, Riku can't be killed. Well, as a matter of fact, Riku does yield better XP. XP. Riku. We just learned a new ability, Riku. We might be able to kill you, Riku. We might have to kill you now, Riku. This one decides champ, yeah, you said that for the past few ones. So yeah, if you want to equip any items that you get, you select Sora, you take out Potion. Right, it's, it was 3 to 1, now it will be... Yeah, it's 
Metroid 2, but we are farming off Riku now. Riku's a very good sparring So yeah, this is the thing though, back in the day, you couldn't necessarily, uh, like, stack. It was very, um, difficult. Let's put it like that. Very odd. Don't 
tell me you're giving up already. Ha! My turn. <laughs> you still don't go. Come on. Ow. You still don't got it. Winning. <laughs> 